In this video, I want to share my lifelong struggle with waking up early, what I'm planning to do differently to develop this habit. And if you watch this video till the very end, I have a free giveaway for you so that you can develop this habit as well. Hi, this is Supreet. I upload new videos every Sunday about personal growth, meditation, and parenting. You can follow me at Grow with Supreet on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Earlier this year, I read the book called 5 AM Club. The 5 AM Club is not actually a club. It is just the group of all the people uh, collectively who wake up at 5 AM. My reason to read this book was that I desperately wanted to become a member of the 5 AM Club. Despite the million times that I've tried to wake up early, I'm not able to stick to that habit. I'm able to wake up early maybe two or three days or maximum for a week. And then after that, I just lose all the motivation and my love for my cozy warm bed makes me forget all my reasons to wake up early. I'm in a deeply committed relationship with my bed, you see. Comment below if you feel the same way. Time and again in books and podcasts, I have read and heard the importance of waking up early before the rest of the world rises, before your family, the rest of your family rises, so that you can spend the first golden hour of the morning in doing constructive things like meditation, exercise, journaling, and so on. In the book, The 5 AM Club, Robin Sharma calls the first hour when you wake up, so the time between 5 AM and 6 AM, the victory hour. So this is the time where you can get a head start to your day and there is a rule he talks about called the 20-20-20 rule, which means to spend the first 20 minutes of your victory hour in movement and exercise so that you your body really wakes up and produces all sorts of good chemicals and hormones to give you energy for the rest of the day. And the next 20 minutes in the victory hour, he suggests to spend those on things like meditation or ref self-reflection or journaling. And the final 20 minutes of the victory hour, you should be spending on growing yourself. So it could be reading something or learning something. Doing this is what separates ordinary people from extraordinary people. Robin says, own your morning and the quality of your day rises exponentially which in turn upgrades the caliber of your life exceptionally. You'll be so much more energetic, productive, confident, excellent, happy, and serene. Even on the most difficult days when you calibrate the front end of it. I 100% agree with this, which is why I've been trying again and again to wake up early, but so far I haven't been successful in sticking to this habit. I end up waking up as late as possible to either make it to work or get my kids ready for school. So my waking up time is decided by external factors or external demands of my kids' school or my work. I haven't yet been successful in waking up early to get my victory hour before my day and my time starts to be dictated by the needs of others or by the needs of my work. So when I picked up this book and I started reading it, I was really hoping to find some magical formula or some missing link that would enable me to finally get into the habit of waking up early. So as I was reading the book, I was super energized and motivated and I felt like this time, I'm actually going to make this happen. So after I finished reading the book, what happened? I joined the 6 a.m. club, which was still an accomplishment for me because before reading the book, I used to wake up at 6.50, just in time to be able to wake up my kids and get them ready for school. So after I finished reading the book, I started doing my own version of 2020, which was more like 10, 10, 10, where I would spend about 10 minutes doing yoga and then 10 minutes doing meditation and then 10 minutes reading. And then I would wake up my kids to get them ready for school. After about a week of doing this, I withdrew my membership from the 6 a.m. club and decided that my lifelong relationship with my cozy warm bed is more important than anything else. And then COVID happened, schools got closed, and now I wake up at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 8.30 sometimes, but hey, it's 5 a.m. somewhere in the world. But now, once again, I am super motivated to give this another chance and really try to wake up an hour earlier than the rest of my family wakes up. 
I want to do this because I know this is the right thing to do. And also recently I've been finding that I'm regularly saying things like, I don't have enough time to create content or to build my brand because kids are home 24 seven and I feel like it's my duty to help them and take care of them first. And my YouTube channel and my brand comes second. But if I really examine this, this is just an excuse I'm making. If I woke up an hour earlier than my kids, I would be able to get so much more done. And my day would go so much better because I have taken care of myself first. And having done that, I would be better able to take care of my family because I have charged my physical and my mental batteries first. I know waking up early is something that I have tried and failed at many, many times but something tells me that this time it's going to be different. Maybe it's because I'm publicly sharing and announcing my intention to do that. Because when you do that, it makes you more accountable. And in a way, this video is more for me than to help others because I'm really hoping that by doing this together with you, I can actually make this habit stick this time, which is why I want you to do this with me. Let's do this together and support each other in developing this new habit. A lot of good habits come to me after a lot of struggle. Even with the meditation habit, I know I struggled a lot. I gave up and resumed meditation so many times, but now I'm finally at the point where I'm able to manage to meditate at least two minutes or five minutes every day. So if I can do that with the meditation habit, I can do that with the waking up at 5 a.m. habit. Do you know what is the definition of insanity? It is doing the same thing again and again, but expecting a different result. So this time I'm going to try some new things, some different things in order to start waking up early. So here are a few things I'm going to do. Number one, I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to make it a point that I'm in bed by 10 p.m. because you need seven to eight hours of sleep every day, every night, I mean. So if you wanna wake up at 5 a.m., you wanna be able to be in bed by 10 p.m. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Number two, I'm going to wake up, and that means get out of bed, within five seconds of my alarm going. And the reason for this is that in the morning, when you hear the alarm, your brain will come up with the most creative excuses for why you should stay in bed, for why you should press that snooze button. And in that state of mind, when you're half asleep, half awake, you don't want to be listening to what your mind is saying. You just want to, within five seconds, get out of bed and start your day. So I'm going to force myself and push myself and only give myself five seconds after hear my alarm to get out of bed. And to help me actually accomplish this, I'm going to put my phone on my dresser much away from my bed so that I will be forced to get out of bed to turn the alarm off. So the annoying sound will be <laughs> will be a motivation for me to get out of bed and not having sit on my nightstand as I currently do. The next thing I'm going to do is that at bedtime, I'm going to think to myself, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. I know that I have done this before in the past where if I really say to myself and commit to myself that I'm going to wake up at this time, I'm actually able to wake up at that time or sometimes maybe five or 10 minutes before that time just naturally because of my biological clock or because somehow my subconscious mind is able to remember and actually wake me up at that time. But I haven't done this consistently in the past. Now I'm going to make it a habit of consistently repeating to myself, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. just before I go to sleep. But in addition to doing that, I'm also going to set my alarm for 5 a.m. because I do not trust my biological clock completely because who knows, my biological clock might lose its Wi-Fi connection or something. The next thing I'm going to do differently is that when I was reading the book, The 5 a.m. Club, I wrote down some notes. These notes are the lines that I thought were truly transformational and powerful because they are the result of Robin Sharma's years of research into this topic and into helping other people be successful. I call these lines the 5 a.m. power quotes. So I have printed these and I'm going to put them on my nightstand and I'm going to read them every night before I go to bed because I need to continue to renew my motivation. So reading these every night will keep me motivated. As Zig Ziglar says, people often say that motivation doesn't last. 
Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. I have read lots of stuff about the power of the subconscious mind. So I'm hoping that by reading these lines and these lines being the last thing that I have fed my brain just before going to bed, I'm hoping that doing that will help me drill these lines of wisdom deep down into my subconscious and then the subconscious will do the trick. This is an experiment that I'm going to do and I want you to join me in doing this together. If you want a PDF copy of my 5 AM power quotes, you can download it for free by clicking on the link in the description below. So once you download this PDF file, you can either do the same thing which I am doing, which is to print it and keep it by your bedside every night and then read it every night, or we have made the font big enough so that you can actually just read it easily on your phone as well. And by we, I mean my sister. My sister made this PDF very pretty. Another way for you to use this PDF power quotes would be that if you particularly like any of the quotes by Robin Sharma, you can print only that page and put it somewhere where you can see it daily. For example, your bathroom mirror, your cubicle, your home office or study area, etc. The 5 a.m. power quotes will remind me of my why to wake up early every morning. And knowing your why is so important to anything that you want to achieve in your life or any change that you want to make in your life. If you can get your why figured out, the how and the what will take care of themselves. So to really focus on my why, I have decided that in addition to reading these 5 a.m. power quotes every night, I'm also going to write down my personal why to wake up early and put that on my nightstand as well and read that every night as well. I'm going to read to you what I wrote down for my personal why, my personal reasons to wake up at 5 a.m. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m to have an amazing day, to earn my own self-respect, to take control and stop making excuses about not having enough time, to make time to transform lives one day at a time, to help others wake up at 5 a.m. and grow with me. So if you wanna do this with me together, I would encourage you to write down your own personal maybe three to five sentences of what is your why, what is your reason that you want to wake up early and then leave them by your bedside and just give it a quick look every night before you sleep. Let's do this together and support each other in joining the 5 a.m. club. If you have any other tips and techniques that work for you to wake up early, please do share them in the comments below for me and others to learn from you. In next week's video, I'm going to share with you another area of my life where I'm trying to improve myself and grow, and that is how to not be a people pleaser. So if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure that you have subscribed and hit the notification bell. Next week's video is about how to stop being a people pleaser. That's all for this video. I'll see you next week. Keep growing.